today we've got another installment of the best of 2023. We've got hybrids today. We've been testing all day and uh, now we've got the hybrids. So I think Kevin's ready to hit some shots with five models here. We'll talk about all the tech. We'll give you all the information and uh, we'll help you make a decision for the hybrid right for you in 2023. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. You like the video and you leave a comment supporting Kevin for all the testing that he's done for us today. <laughs> Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined by Kevin Kraft, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. It is approaching five o'clock and we've been filming videos and testing in since seven, 7.30 in the morning. So yep. um, we're, we're grinding through the whole day here. And the last one we have today is hybrids, um, five models for 2023. Thank goodness. <laughs> Kevin, uh, <laughs> when you're, in the base, you're working with hybrids yep. um, with a player. What are you looking for performance-wise? And is there any maybe that have popped off um, or popped out to you initially this year that uh, you want to talk about? Yeah, so, um, you know, hybrids are designed as direct iron replacements. Yeah. Um, lofts have gotten so much stronger now that most companies don't even make a three iron yeah. uh, in, right. in a lot of the sets anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, you kind of can't when you're, when you're four irons that 20 degrees, you yeah. know, that's, we're already in three iron territory. So, um, you know, hybrid's designed to be a little easier to hit, a uh, little higher launching, rescue club, everybody wants them to do everything, mm -hmm. right? It's, and, and they do a lot. Mm -hmm. You can hit them out of the rough, you can hit them out of bad lies. Uh, they won't do absolutely everything for you, but um, they do fill a gap that we often see between a fairway wood and the longest right. iron. So uh, that's, you know, where we're gonna go in terms of, of a, a hybrid versus a fairway wood or versus a driving iron, it's gonna be very player dependent, but it gives us kind of a lot of versatility in that, that next club down from the yeah. fairway wood. Right, exactly, and it's always it's an important one because it's not one that golfers might not be in this gap a lot during a round, but sure. it's one of those where things can go very wrong from that distance if you try to make that shot happen without the right club in yeah. your bag. So yeah. um, today we've got five models, like I mentioned. We've got the Ping G430, the Cobra uh, Tech, King Tech. King Tech. Um, I know that's one of your favorites. Yep. So uh, yep. it's been a really good performer for you yep. in the fitting bay. It has. The TaylorMade Stealth 2 Rescue, uh, the Paradigm, and the TSR2 from Titleist. So yep. these are generally the more forgiving. There might be yep. some of these manufacturers have a kind of more players type hybrid yeah. offering as well. But yep. I'd say we're going with the kind of the more forgiving standard models. And um, it's going to be good. It's going to yeah. be really good. Yep. So uh, are, you, are you ready to hit? More shots. We're almost there. Physically, the yes. <laughs> okay, it's a pretty darn good start right there. Okay, so turn it over, but yeah, that's okay. in the 221s. Oh, you want to do four or five of these? Uh, let's do four. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just thought I'd double check. As long as I hit them good, let's do four. Yeah, I'm, wow. on, I'm on board. So the G430, I didn't realize how narrow this fairway gets at right exactly where you're hitting well, the ball. Well, yeah. So uh, this is going to be a test for you, bring, but you're four for four. Yeah. You're four for four so far. Yep. 3401, 3517, 3755, 3719, the smash factor with hybrid, and then the carry. Look at this. Look at this. 221 or 222.1, 221.9, 221.22. Lot to be said for consistency. That is kind of a joke. That is kind of stupid. Um, your lowest was 221.0, and your highest was 222.1. <laughs> That's dumb. Uh, pretty good start for Ping and the yeah. G4. Three. That's a good baseline to start with here. So overall trajectory was was actually a little bit on the lower side. Was um, it? Yeah, I yeah, had 92. a couple launch low. The, the last two were the, that I didn't turn yeah. over too much actually ended up being okay. being in, with pretty good. And numbers. we should note this is these are three hybrids. So yeah. I mean some of them yeah. standard are 18, some are 19. Yeah. So this was at 19. Okay. So oh, yeah. Um, we'll take note of that and as we go to the the next one here, which is the Co. No. The TSR2? Oh, I, I'll go, oh I'll you go, grabbed it. You I'll grabbed go, it. That yeah, was the one you're okay. feeling. You got it. The TSR2. TSR2. Okay. 
Oh, a little lower spin on that one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. It was bound to happen at some point. Yep. Ooh, there's some extra speed. A little hanger. Got some spin a little bit, but. Yeah, a little hanger. How about the uh, look feel difference from G430 to this? So, definitely a lot of feel difference. Yeah. This feels a little harder. Okay. Um, a little softer with ping, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just. You can kind of hear it a little bit too. There's there's that little bit of metallic sound yeah. coming off the ping, where this feels this feels more like an iron. Okay. Whereas that feels a little more like a fairway wood. Okay. So, um, no judgment being passed either. I hit both of them really well. Yes. I I really quite like the way this performed. Yeah, it's been yeah it's yeah. doing so, really well. Yeah, it's very good. Um, ultimately, the the numbers on distance kind of matched up. Yeah. Um, and then the smash is also 149. Very comparable on the club speed and the ball speed. Yep. So just the launch was a little bit higher with yeah. the TSR2, and that resulted in more height, steeper landing angle, those types yep. of things. So depending on where you're at with your swing and your tendencies right now, maybe you need more height, maybe you don't need more height. But yeah. And there's our map. We have finally one about a foot off the fairway. But Oh, that's uh, the fairway? That's, that's terrible. That's pretty darn good. Yeah. I'm curious because with basically every Paradigm Club so far, they are chasing distance and they have been up there or if not the longest. Yeah. And typically that has come with less spins. I'm wondering if yeah. that reigns true with the hybrids here. Oh. First so, bad swing of the hybrid group. All right. Good. So paradigm now, look, feel, just compared so, to the, the first two maybe? Compared to the first two, um, I really like Callaway's shape. Mm -hmm. They've all been very pleasing to look at. Um, what Callaway's done with paradigm compared to what they did with the Rogue, night and day. Really? Uh, I mean, to me, no offense to Callaway, but the Rogue hybrids look like a toenail. I mean, they just, they had that big yeah. and just, not good looking. So putting this down as a, you know, fantastic. Mm. Absolutely great. Well, um, that's, I mean, that's positive feedback and that's a good thing. And yeah, no, I mean, they, the, the direction they've gone here is, right. is absolutely fantastic. It's always a good thing to, when manufacturers go in the right direction. Yes, or something, yes, so. 100%. And, um, you know, the adjustability is fantastic and, you know, very, it's super, super good. Super right. Good. And then in terms of distance, farthest carry so far. Okay. You did swing a little bit faster, okay. but uh, the launch was higher. Okay. Height was so higher. So the landing angle was best. Landing angle again. Yeah. Yep. So we're kind of getting a little bit more height as we go here so, so far. So anyway. you give me more distance plus better height and landing angle, and yeah. I'm probably going to Yeah, I mean, angle. I don't know why that would be a bad thing. So It, it wouldn't. Yes, it wouldn't. It would, it would not be a bad thing. So stealth two. Stealth two. Oh, there's some speed. A little pull, maybe? Yeah, a little pull. Some speed. A little pull. I actually stayed 100 feet in the air, though, which is... Oh, that's good, yeah. Okay, we may have a new speed king for the hybrids. Ooh, hello. Walking it off because he knows it's... I knew that money. one was good. Hey, that one didn't go left. I knew that one was good. Oh, you missed the fairway. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, um, all right, some more gains with Stealth 2 there. Yeah, a uh, little the faster. The launch went back speed. down, though. Um, it did. Launch and height and landing angle, all that. So Paradigm is still the king in terms of, you know, trajectory. Yeah. Um, but we gained some distance there with the Stealth 2 in a pretty big way, actually. Yeah, I mean, we jumped up another another solid five yards, so that's... Yeah. that's a, More swing speed kind of led to yeah. that, but also, yeah. I mean, very efficient. Jumped up the ball speed quite a bit, so... A little um, pull left, that's going to go a little faster, spin a little bit yeah, less. Yeah, that's true. Let's go a little lower, yeah. All right, okay. the King Tech. So... One of your favorites. Truth behold, be told, I, uh, I play the previous gen of this. I really haven't spent any time with, with the new one. 
I haven't seen any reason to. <laughs> that might be the same exact golf shot. I actually love that shot. I love that it doesn't want to turn over. What else do you need to see? That was a little higher spin there. I don't, was. Know, don't know exactly why. I mean, that's one of the better performers. You get the highest launch. Yep. You get the steepest landing angle. Yep. Highest peak height. Yep. You also get the, of these, the second most yardage. Yep. And a pretty good spin number. Yep. That's a pretty darn good performer right there. Yep. The <laughs> King Tech. You've been, you've been uh, promoting it. I have been. Because you've seen the performance. Yep. Not that I ever would doubt what you're telling me, but I know you've been. I got a lot of yeah. happy customers that play this hybrid. Yeah. And I don't very often really expound upon my personal takes on, on golf clubs when I'm, when I'm fitting. Mm -hmm. But I have said uh, a, a lot of times that I, I truly believe this is the best hybrid on the market. Um, the adjustability in it, like yeah. if you got somebody that's hooking it, we can put all the weight in the toe. Somebody yeah. that's slicing it, you can put all the weight all the way in the heel. It's the only one of these where we got adjustable weights. Right. And we still got a degree and a half of, of loft adjustment up or down. We can close club face. I mean, it just, mm -hmm. it gives me so many options. It feels fantastic. It looks great at setup. I mean, it's just an all around winner. Mm -hmm. So, well, that might be a little bit of a tease into the rankings that we're going to put together here uh, <laughs> from Mr. Be. Kraft. But, um, <laughs> you know, we can briefly look at these numbers again. Yeah. I mean, in order to dispersion, whatever you want to look at yeah. here. Obviously, we're working with a lot narrower field of landing the ball than you would probably than yeah. used to. But, yeah, yeah, that's, um, that's pretty tight. So this right is kind of what we're looking at. If I there. maybe shrink the screen a little bit, bring up numbers over here, we can kind of see things maybe mm -hmm. a little better. But... Um, Interesting that where there was kind of some trends, you know, we saw the, the Stealth 2 was one that you, you turned over a little bit. Yep. The King Tech was one that had, you were kind of hitting sort of a high straight ball almost where yeah. you had the face open, but yep. it didn't quite turn over. Yep. So Paradigm was a little bit more right side. Um, the G430 probably is the smallest dispersion out there. Yep. Yep. So anything else jump out at you with these numbers or um, um, the dispersion? Numbers, numbers wise, not really. And, and really dispersion wise, not not all that much the, the stealth too i think you know maybe geared a little bit more toward toward a draw yeah um they're all good and i they like I, I literally like all of them they're all really good like there wasn't a single one that i hit and I went eh. yeah no, they were all really good the the feel is, is a little variable across but yeah but really solid on all mm -hmm. of them um, I could literally put any of those in and, and be happy, I think. But, yeah, I mean, you, um, were, you were carrying a lot of these shots in the same realm yeah, of distance yeah, here. You absolutely. know, right just, just past 220 to 230 yeah. was basically all of them. So yeah. uh, very, very impressive stuff. Look at the ping carry distances. There, we, we talked know, about it was, earlier. But that, that was really that that was was quite crazy. That's pretty good. So quite let's crazy. do some ranking here. But they're all let's good. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's rank these guys. All right, Mr. Kraft. Testing completes five Done. hybrids. And I don't know how many swings you fit today, um, but it was a lot. So uh, I haven't had a range session like this since I was on tour. <laughs> That's quite the range session that we put together yeah. today for yeah. you. It was and a lot of drivers too. So. Yeah, a lot of drivers. Um, the beer that you're going to have after this is going to be well deserved. Thank so you. Uh, let's rank these hybrids okay. and then we'll get to the bar. Cool. So uh, <laughs> five hybrids. Yep. Um, let's start with just the appearance, the look, the aesthetic. So um, top three, rank okay. them. Top three, um, one. Yep. Okay, I have a feeling I'll leave this one over here. Two. Okay, paradigm number two. Three. <laughs> <laughs> like they're, they're, we can do that. They're T3, all, yeah, they're tied all, for yeah, three. I mean, they're all really good. There's there's nothing unappealing about anything. Yeah. There's no wonky looking shapes. Yeah. There's there's no toenail in there. There's right, no, right. There, there's nothing nothing out of bounds. Like they okay. all look good and I, I'm hard pressed. I, I really like all three of these okay. from a look standpoint a lot. I like these these two a little bit better. Just a little bit more. Okay, that's fair, that's fair, that's totally fair. Um, 
So next in terms of feel and mm -hmm. sound, anything come out? I'm going to leave this over here because I feel like it's going to stay there. But we'll, Yeah, we'll you can see. just leave that one over yeah, there. The King, the, it's gonna, the King it's, Tech's going to stay over it's, here at It's going to stay yeah. there, yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> there is some variance in the, the sound and, and yeah. feel. Um, I thought the Titleist was a little firmer feeling, more a little more like an iron mm -hmm. versus versus like a fairway wood. So um, I don't find that as a, I don't find that to be a fault. Right. Uh, it's just a different feel. Yeah. Um, I thought it was extremely stable feeling and it felt really solid. It just felt a little firmer yeah. than the rest. Um, the TaylorMade felt a little more like it wanted to turn over. Yeah. And that kind of played out. Yeah. So you know, for somebody that's that's maybe misses a little bit to the right, this is probably a really good one to throw into into fittings for sure. Um, I thought both of these two felt and sounded fairly similar, um, a little more fairway wood like, which which I tend to like in a in a hybrid. Uh, I'm a bit mm -hmm. of a sweeper, so I play hybrids like I do a fairway wood versus playing them like an iron. And uh, you know, I thought I thought both of these felt okay. really really good. So. Okay. So the paradigm and the ping yeah. up next. Yeah. Okay. Good feedback there. And it's actually, yeah. it is important to note those differences because yeah. I think you're getting into now from fairy woods down to kind of the irons where that feel aspect is maybe a lot more yeah. um, noticeable. So, and there, there is some tech too, because we've got on, only one of these was not adjustable and that was the, that right. was the stealth. Um, you know, it's really great that we've got four different hybrids to work with that have adjustability in them. Uh, Cobra's really, to me, leading the way because we can swap weights out. Sure. Right. And being able to do that really allows us to control shot shape yeah. better, better than anything else. You know, Taylor, uh, Titleist's uh, loft sleeve allows us to open the club face and close club face. So uh, really, technically, in terms of what it's capable of doing, Titleist would really finish second there. Um, and then both the ping and the and the Callaway, we have adjustability. Ping's geared actually to not go left, yeah, which is awesome. Again, uh, I love what Ping does there with with fighting the the, mm -hmm. the left side of things. Um, and then Callaway's got the draw setting, so it's uh, look at these five great hybrids. They're they're really you can't you can't go wrong with any of these hybrids. You just got to figure out which one you really like. Right. I think that's the next piece. Then is just the. the to have people come in and get a fit, right? Yeah. They yeah. gotta they gotta understand what is right for their swing and that's yeah. where you get all this information, all this data. Yeah. So uh, golfers, come get fit, right? Yes. That's the come last get piece. Fit. Come get fit come at get second fit. swing. Someone speak with someone like Kevin. Make about three hundred swings and I would uh, say less oh, wait, than that. No, no we don't we don't do that, do we? Not quite. No. Okay. You only put so. Kevin through that. But uh, <laughs> come get fit. Get the right hybrid in your bag, play better golf. It's pretty that it's that simple. So thanks for joining Kevin. Really good stuff. You're welcome. Thanks. Get me a beer. Ha, 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 ha.